So there's big changes coming to Trailhead, and that's specifically Trailhead Academy. It is here that you can register for exams and also see all the different certifications under one roof now. That includes all the Slack certifications, Tableau certifications, and more. Simply go to trailheadacademy.salesforce.com. And once you're logged in, you will see a welcome back message. Also, there's a note due to high demand. Things are performing a little bit slow. I'm going to close that out. But now you can actually register for certification exams within Trailhead Academy. And so there are some offerings here for some recommended classes from Salesforce with Trailhead Academy. And then also recommended certifications. And you can view all certifications. And here... You can sort by alphabetical or filter down by role or level of certifications. But notice that right now at the time of this recording, which is the day of the release of Trailhead Academy, there are 86 certifications in all. And as you peruse here, if you're logged into your account, you'll see any that you've already achieved, such as Salesforce Certified Platform Administrator. That's also important note is that the names of these certifications have changed. Of the 86, Salesforce has changed the name of roughly 35. And this is a fun time for me because my O'Reilly book on the administrator certification just went to production. And now we get to rename this uh, literally thousands of times in the document. So I'm so happy that the timing of this, there's not been a change to this in a decade but now is the time to change that name because I've got a book coming out from O'Reilly so I may be a little facetious but search and replace is my friend and searching for certifications on Trailhead Academy is now your friend and then as well there's notes on other certifications it knows my profile and what certifications I've attained and here for example Salesforce certified education cloud consultant I've completed the prerequisites for that, so that means I could actually take that particular certification. Whereas the B2C Solution Architect, I have not completed those prerequisites. And so you'll see no note here. If you've not attained, you'll see a note about prerequisites completed or not completed. And as I mentioned, there are 86, and you can load more here. And then let's say you find one that you want to register for. I do not have the Field Service Consultant certification, but I've attained the Platform Administrator. Notice I'm using the new name. And I've also attained the Service Cloud Consultant, or it's probably called Platform Service Cloud, or who knows what it's called anymore. But I have attained the Service Cloud Consultant certification as well. Those are two of the prerequisites for the Field Service Consultant certification. So it is saying that I could register for this because I have completed those prerequisites. So to register for a certification, just go to its landing page by clicking on it. These URLs have a monstrous amount of dashes in them for some reason. I'm sure that may change at some point. So I may be hesitant to link to specific certifications because they will likely change. But you can see here that you can register by clicking register now. The change with this is we are no longer registering for exams through Web Assessor, moment of silence. Okay, a long live Web Assessor, but we're moving on to Pearson View. If you want to register for a certification now in the Salesforce universe, you need to do that through the infamous Pearson VUE. That's Pearson View. They are a well respected credentialing organization. And I've taken tests on Pearson View before for other certifications. You can either do online or at a test center, just click on one or the other. And then you want to confirm that your legal name matches your ID, which mine does not. My certifications are all under Mike Wheeler, my legal ID. My government issued ID is Michael Wheeler, so I have to deal with that. So I get to contact support to deal with that. But at least I'm not dealing with the TSA and the whole... I'm not going to go into that. Anywho, but you can confirm that and then schedule now. And you'll be taken to the exam partner, which is now Pearson View. And we're now on the Pearson View website. And there's some pre-check, pre-flight things here as far as checking your computer, your testing space, your photo ID, and what to expect. And if I go back and do for a testing center instead, that experience is thusly. Is thus is thusly a word? Test center, this should take us to Pearson View as well. And once I lie and confirm that my legal ID says Mike instead of Michael and schedule now, this is for demonstration purposes only. I don't need a visit from the government. So my exam prep here in the testing center, there's notes on my photo ID, what to expect, and then personal items. Review the items that you can have during testing that do not require prior approval. You can view your comfort aid list. And everyone in life needs a comfort aid list, I believe. So you can't have eye drops, eye patches, cough drops, casts. That would be a bummer if you had to remove a cast. Braces, bandages. 
an auto injector such as an EpiPen. So if you're having an allergic reaction to taking a test, you can just wham the EpiPen and be off to the races. Medical alert bracelets, etc., etc. Now, I don't know. I didn't see a comfort aid list for testing online. So let me check that real quick. So if you do need some comfort aids, then you may want to do that in a testing center if it's not allowed online, but maybe I missed it. So here, once again, confirming, going to the partner side of Pearson View, I stand corrected. You can have your comfort items, and there's a list for those for testing at home as well. So you have the option of at home or on site having those comfort aids from there and those appear to be the same. And so then there's a note on some of these down here as far as some significant differences between on-site and online. Some notes, other approved items, earplugs and noise reducing headphones. These are only considered a comfort aid in the professional centers from Pearson View and must be provided by the test center. So i.e. you can't just provide your own headphones or noise reducing headphones or earplugs because there might be a voice instructing you on the other end and they can't really check for that. The proctor's watching you take the exam online and you can't wear a face mask and or gloves during the exam. And so be sure and peruse those if you're needing any sort of personal aid items or comfort items and whatever they have for additional information below is noted in bold and you can always scroll down. But back to Trailhead Academy, you can list through the 86 certifications here. If you have all 86, please let me know. I know some people have gotten 20 or 30 certifications in a year, but I don't know of anyone that has all 86, but there's probably someone out there that's collected them all, like Pokemon cards. Got to have them all. And what's cool is if you hit one of these certifications that you've already attained or achieved, it sprinkles some confetti for you and congratulates you accordingly, saying that you've already successfully earned the certification, and then it's instructing you on what might be next. And so we can close this, and then here, this the experience of one that you've already attained. You're not able to register, but you can still get the exam guide. And then there are other links down here on any of these certification listings, such as skilling up on Trailhead and preparing for the exam. It's got the modules for prepare for whatever certification it is. And then then there's also a link for some of these for study for the platform administrator certification guide and then learn from experts. These are the Trailhead Academy, very expensive courses, I might add, but uh, one day or five day courses and priced accordingly. And then related certifications are others that you can attain. And you'll notice Salesforce certified platform administrator too. That is the former, uh, formerly known as advanced administrator. And as the confetti reveals, I've already attained that one also. So now it's time to update your profiles and the verbiage on your LinkedIn profiles. And you're not an advanced administrator, you are a platform administrator too. And so am I, if this applies to you. Now, for the certifications that you have not attained, let's say that we want to select by role and I'm gonna select consultant. Here are 32 different consultant certifications and I've met the prerequisites for the education cloud and so now I can go in here and peruse this further get the details on the role the level the languages available the price in the different currencies and then once again I can register online or on site in a testing center I can get the exam guide and peruse that and then the exam details are here passing score number of questions etc and then the prerequisites are mentioned and I've completed that. And then the preparation here, skilling up on trailhead has one link. So some have one, some have two. And then related certifications are these others that you can peruse from there. So this gives you the ability to browse and search and filter by role and more. And then it's nice also to be able to see all of the certifications available on Trailhead Academy. And then beyond that, you can access recommended classes, recommended certifications, and view all certifications and find training providers and then expand certain skills, get support and more. And then a lot of the links are very similar to what you find on trailhead.salesforce.com. This is trailheadacademy.salesforce.com. And some of these links will take you over to the Trailhead side, but the find a certification keeps you on Trailhead Academy now. And then verifying certifications will take you to Trailhead and that's where you can do the verification of certifications of yourself or others by name or email address. And then also you can peruse all classes and certifications. Then I noticed as well that there was a practice test under certification. Let me search for that. I'm going to have to view all to do so or load more. And so there's a practice test for the Salesforce certified platform administrator. So this isn't exactly a certification, even though it's falling underneath that category. This is the $20 practice test that used to be available on web 
predecessor, I was wondering if that would be available, and that's a question that's being asked a lot, is how to get to that. So just look for that practice test under certifications. You can register for that, and that's $20, and that can help you to prepare as well for the certification. Speaking of helping you prepare for certifications, always recommend our own training platform of rapidreskill.com. And I'm the founder of Rapid Reskill. We have several different certification on-demand courses and several and a growing list of practice tests. And so I encourage you to check out rapidreskill.com. And one of our sponsors is our parent company of Velza. That is V as in Victor, E-L-Z-A. Name of my father, uh, in honor of him and it's our Salesforce and Agent Force implementation and consulting company. Reach out at Velza.com if you have any sort of Salesforce needs. We fix broken Salesforce implementations, which is all too common out there, using and leveraging our foundational understanding and knowledge of the platform and our advanced development skills with our team. So be sure and reach out at Velza.com and check out RapidReskill.com. And wherever you're watching this, be sure and leave a comment for what you're wanting to learn next and what you think of Trailhead Academy, and I'll see you next time.